Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture on Lobbying 101. This is part two of a two-part series. Um, when you're uh, lobbying and you have a presentation, make sure that you have an objective. Write a one-pager to share with the uh, legislator. Know how whatever issues you're talking about impact you. Be knowledgeable about the details so you can answer any questions. Be persuasive, such as using personal stories and anecdotes. And ultimately, at the end, ask your, for your legislator's support so they actually help you, because sometimes we can forget to do that. Um, for when you're lobbying, you are able to turn no to yes if you do certain things. If a legislator or legislators say no, find out what their concerns are and achieve the conditions that will earn their support. Sometimes you can't do that right away. Sometimes it'll take time, but eventually you can turn that no into a yes. If you're going to have a meeting, here's a couple of sets of rules. Uh, make sure you arrive on time. Identify yourself and your affiliation clearly so they know who you are and what you represent. Be friendly, organized, and well prepared. Thank them for the time, and keep non-germane talk to a minimum. So just you know, keep it all about the issues. In terms of discussion, get your ask out as soon as possible so they know what you're looking for. Identify the national and local benefits you think this action will provide. And be prepared for tough questions so that you can answer them. Make sure that you, for rule number three, that you listen and talk appropriately. Be a good listener, which entails taking notes. Ask for firm commitments. What do you want them to do, and when do you want them that to happen? and make sure that you follow up. That is essential to make sure that you get through with everything you want to get through with. Some things you do not want to do. Say, don't say anything you are not sure is true. Make sure you stand the truth and the up and up. Do not unilaterally sign a uh, signal of willingness to compromise. You want to make sure if you're going to compromise that both sides seem to want to do that. Don't air any dirty laundry or confidential business information because that'll make you look bad. Do not threaten or take a negative tone. That won't help you establish a long-term relationship. Do not discuss political fundraising when that's not the, the purpose of your meeting. That was Lobbying 101 Part 2. Thanks again for watching. Take care. I look forward to seeing you again soon.